And you've continually said all season long you don't care about the, the home run numbers necessarily during the season. You just care about winning. But are you having fun at all out there? Are you enjoying this? Yeah, when we're winning in the first place, you know, it's always fun. Um, you know, especially coming to the ballpark every single day with these guys that continue to, you know, push each other, motivate each other. And um, you know, even through the, the tough stretches, you know, guys still show up ready to work. So it, it's definitely been fun this year. Aaron, you right now have 20 home runs more than your closest competitor, which is Kyle Schwarber. Do you take pride in that, you know, if you're dominating the long ball this year? No, you really just don't look at it. Yeah. You know, if, if you're checking the numbers, you're going to get caught. So I just, you know, just keep trying to do what I can do. And, you know, the numbers will take care of themselves. If I have a good plan, have a good approach, do what I need to do in the box, you know, all that other stuff will show up. I know we've talked to you about being patient when teams aren't pitching to you, but are you at all surprised that teams still are pitching to you? Uh, I, I got no idea. I, I try not to think about it. You know, I'm, I'm so focused on what I got to do in the box. You know, I can't be thinking about if guys are pitching to me, not pitching to me. Um, you know, a certain situation I'm hitting, you know, you can kind of see what maybe they're pitching around you, but, you know, I still got to stay locked in on my approach. If I start thinking about it, am I going to get walked here, they're going to pitch around me, then it's just going to take me right out of, you know, what I'm trying to do at the plate. What is it that you like about Glaber in that spot that he had in the 10th inning? Uh, he, he's a guy consistently over, you know, his career has come up in clutch situations, and that was a situation where, you know, tie game there in the 10th and against a tough reliever that's a good, you know, sinker-splitter combo, you know, Someone had, to, someone had to do the job, and you know, no better guy than him to go up there. And you know, he took a couple of pitches, and then took a, a great swing. When he's using, you know, right center, right field consistently, he's he's one of the best hitters in the game. Aaron, he had a tough August. What looks different to you now when he's at the plate? He's just getting started earlier. You know, he's um, trusting his load. You know, not afraid to start a little earlier. And when he starts early, and he's in that back leg. You know, anything's possible. You know, he can sit on off-speed pitches. He's ready for the fastball in, fastball away. Um, you know, at times, just like any hitter, just like me over the years, you know, if, if you feel a rush at the plate or you're not getting your load off, um, you're going to be in a bad spot. So he's just been consistently getting, you know, good timing, and it's worked out. Aaron, how significant is it for you to have a 300-plus average this late in the season? That's always, you know, as a kid, you know, you look up and you see Albert Pujols hitting 330 every year and, you know, consistently putting up the RBI numbers and stuff like that. So for me, it's all, for me, grading a hitter has always been about average. You know, it might be a little old school, but, uh, you know, can you hit or can you hit? So I just, it's always been a goal of mine to, you know, try to get, get to that point and do that. So, um, I forgot what you asked me, but I kind of got out there. Yeah. The significance of having 300 plus. Yeah, it's just. Plate. I feel like if I'm able to do that, hopefully the team's in a good spot and we're winning games. So. Aaron, this was your first home run of a knuckle curve this season. What, I mean, are you just seeing everything? Like, can you can you walk me through just getting that curve? Yeah. Um, you just got to see it kind of pop in the zone. I think that that might be my fourth or fifth off the curveball knuckle curve, but. Um, they, they all say it's different curve, knuckle curve. I feel like they're all the same. But uh, you just, those pitches, you know, they're pretty slow. But you just got to try to see it pop above the zone and, you know, try to let off the nasty one. It kind of looks like a heater coming in and kind of drops off. So it's uh, in that situation, you know, seeing Pavetta, you know, quite a few times this year, um, I just saw something pop and tried to take a good swing on it. Does the uh, triple crown mean anything to you? Um, yeah, some great, great guys have done it. You know, I think thinking back to Cabrera, who did it last, I believe, um, it's pretty special. But I think I'm a long ways away from that, so we don't need to talk about that. You could see on the TV broadcast that on your second home run that there were even Red Sox fans cheering for you. Does the fact that the kind of the history that you're making turning against people that have been rough on you before is that is that say something? Man, they were wearing me out on deck. I don't know. If they were, I don't know if they were cheering or not. They were wearing me out. But it's uh, nah, it's I love baseball fans. You know, I think just fans all over. You know, Red Sox, Yankees doesn't matter. You know, they they came here to see a good game and see a show and. You know, both teams tonight, I think, put on a good show for them. Do you kind of do you enjoy that the, the, with the back and forth you've had here with, with, with Red Sox fans before? Oh, it's the best. They're some of the best in baseball. You know, they're going to boo you. They're going to, you know, say some things. They're going to make you laugh. It's, you know, it's, it's all part of it. You know, they got a lot of great history here, and, you know, this is one of the best places to play. So it's it's always fun going out there and trying to put on a show for them. If it doesn't work out free agency-wise with the Yankees, is this a place you'd consider? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that at the end of the year. <laughs>